The Word of God encourages us not to be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will take care of itself. Are you filled with doubts of what tomorrow will bring? Are you troubled and feeling hopeless about tomorrow? Receive God's word today of hope and assurance of a better tomorrow. You will be changed. Good evening, viewers. Welcome to tomorrow. Let us pray. Lord, we want to thank you for the privilege we have to gather together like this to receive your word. Lord, as we gather and receive your word this evening, let there be a release of your power upon our lives such that we'll be enabled to be doers of your word in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm sharing with us this evening on what I've titled, Be On Guard. Be watchful, in other words, be on guard. Maintain your position watchfully. Be on guard, be attentive to everything that is happening around you because many things are happening around us. When a man is on guard, he's paying watchful attention in protective mode concerning everything around him. And that is how God wants us to be at this time. Be on guard, be on guard. First Corinthians 16 from verse 13, let's read. Watch. Stand fast in the faith. Be brave. Be strong. The first instruction is watch. If you read that in the New International Version, it says, be on your guard. That's the first instruction. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. The New Living Translation is like that. 1 Corinthians 16, 13. Be on guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Before you can be courageous, before you can be strong, before you can stand fast in the faith, you have to be watchful first. Be on your guard. Every man has that responsibility to himself. Every woman has that responsibility to herself. Be on your guard. In other words, be watchful. You can't afford to be careless at this time. Neither can I afford to be careless. All of us must be observant. All of us must be watchful. All of us must be attentive. Why is that so? There is an adversary out there who wants to steal from you, who wants to kill from you, who wants to destroy concerning you. Don't allow him. As you are watchful, with the help of the Lord, nothing of yours will go missing. Nothing of yours will stray into enemy hands. Let's read Proverbs 4 and 23. It says, keep thy heart with all diligence. So to be on guard, it is about your heart, the core of your being. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. The New Living Tradition says, guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. So your heart is the core of your being. And if there's something you must guard, it is the core of your being. I'm not talking about the physiological organ that pumps blood on the left side of your chest. No, I'm talking about your spirit, the real you, the forever you, the part of you that never dies. Be on guard over that one. Keep an eye on what goes on there. So whatever you see with your eyes, whatever you hear with your ears, whatever you say with your mouth, whatever you think with your mind, uh, these are things to be careful about. You can't think anyhow. You can't talk anyhow. You can't see everything others see. Neither can you hear everything they all hear. Because if you are not careful through your eye gates or, or your ear gates, you can be corrupted. And God does not want you corrupted. That corruption will open the door to the devil. We must never open the door to the devil. Keep the devil away from your habitations. Keep the devil away from where you are as you maintain your guard watchfully concerning that which God has committed into your hands. Don't forget that scripture says again, guard your heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. So life in its fullness, the course of your life is determined from within you. So don't allow the devil pollute that which is within Within you so that you can turn out to be all that God has ordained for you to be this year. Join us in church tomorrow. Let's talk about these things, but depend upon the Lord and secure your life with the power of his word and see God prosper you, see God increase you, see the Lord enlarge you this year. Great shall be your peace as you join us tomorrow. Till then, God bless you. Bye-bye. We believe you have been blessed. Join us at 9 a.m. tomorrow at Vine Brand Church, Queen School Road, Akbata Giari, for a life-changing experience in our glorious worship service. We are confident that with Jesus, your tomorrow will be better than today. Come now with us and we will do thee good. God bless you.